Good morning and welcome to Medical Monday on E-Radio. It's Jan with you and uh, also joined by ophthalmologist Dr. Dylan Joseph uh, here on uh, E-Radio's Medical Monday. Uh, today we're talking about, and I hope I'm going to get it right, a phototherapeutic keratectomy. Did I get it right, Dr. Joseph? Hey, spot on, Jan. Well yeah, done. Well thank done. goodness. Uh, I it's didn't mouth, even practice. It's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but let's just, uh, from now on, we're going to refer to it as PTK. Um, there we go. But yeah. what, what on earth is this uh, phototherapeutic keratectomy, Dr. Joseph? Okay. So a photo is light. Therapeutic means we are fixing something. We're changing something for the better. And keratectomy, remember the cornea, um, it comes from the word kera. And uh, keratectomy uh, means you're removing corneal tissue. And if you put that all together, you're improving the optical status and the functional status and then eventually the visual status of a cornea by using eczema light pulses, so our laser vision correction platform. Um, so PTK, in, in, a, in a broad sense, um, can be used for a number of applications, uh, but it is essentially to improve uh, the functional quality and optics of the cornea without having to go and manually with your own hand try and dissect it or remove bits and pieces of the cornea that could otherwise be removed with laser. Okay. So, Dr. Joseph, what are its uses? What do you use it for in your practice? Um, yeah, yeah, so we've seen uh, patients that have many years ago had a procedure called uh, radial keratotomy. And that's where they, you know, we put a whole bunch of slices in the cornea and it helped incredibly with short-sightedness or myopia. But unfortunately, it caused a lot of irregularity in the cornea um, and uh, sometimes scarring in the cornea as well. And so we can use the PTK platform on our laser to actually start smoothing out irregularities and to, to remove some of the scars. That's the beauty of the laser. It can actually ablate through scar tissue. So if a person has a chemical injury and a, and a scar on the cornea or an old infective process and is left with a scar on the cornea and it's causing ghosting or glare or halos or vision symptoms that are not correctable with glasses or contact lenses, um, then we can look at this. We can measure exactly the precise depth of these scars and, and use our lasers to um, go to that exact depth to remove the scar and to smooth the optical surface of the eye. With the advancements in, in understanding epithelial technology and epithelium, and maybe we can talk about that uh, next week, um, it's the new buzzword in, in ophthalmology and in refractive surgery. The epithelium, so to speak, is, is like, it acts like a masking agent for us. And uh, by that I mean PTK has become a procedure where we don't have to do anything to the cornea. We can literally put the patient under the laser. We don't touch it. It's a one-step, no-touch technique where we tell the laser to remove so much epithelium and possibly to remove a little more tissue and remove scars. So whether you've had radial keratotomy, whether you've got a scar in the visual axis from a previous injury, from a previous infection, and it's not deep enough to warrant a corneal transplant, which we obviously measure, then there are lots of ways to skin the cat, so to speak, uh, to remove that scar, to lessen the scar, to improve the overall vision quality um, of a person. Uh, we also use the PTK mode in areas where there are tiny little micro lumps and bumps on the surface of the cornea. Sometimes after um, what we call the, the microkeratome LASIK flaps, so it's the, the uh, flaps were made with the, um, the blade, when we remove the epithelium or the top layer of the, the tissue of the cornea, we can often see tiny, tiny little folds and ridges in the, in the old flap. And then we can apply what's called a wet PTK. So we spray water on the cornea, which fills all the little troughs in between the lumps and bumps. And then the laser works to just smooth down those little bumps. So if you can imagine a, a mountain and then covering the whole mountain in water, and lasering it slowly, then covering it in water, lasering it slowly. Eventually, you're going to get rid of all those little peaks that are standing off. And the surface of the mountain is going to look, look a lot more regular and smooth. And, and that's exactly what we can do with, with PTK. Uh, it, it, it improves the anatomical uh, surface and it improves the quality of your vision. So there are many applications of PTK, whether you're using it as a primary procedure or as a repair procedure. 
and uh, it's made a, it's made a, a great difference to the visual outcomes of our patients who have had previous corneal transplants, pre previous um, uh, radial keratotomies, and some patients who have keratoconus. And often we can combine a PTK procedure with uh, cross-linking as well uh, to stiffen the bonds of the cornea and improve the optical uh, surface of the eye. So it is quite a complex topic, but I, it's, it's you know something that we, we look at in depth in the clinic. But the point is, I think for many years, people have just thought, well, I've got a scar. I can't see. I've been told there's nothing I can do about it. Glasses or spectacles can't fix it. Um, so I leave it. And that's not necessarily the case. Depending on the depth of the scar um, and depending on what your scans look like, there may well be something that we can do for you. Amazing technology, Dr. Joseph. I think uh, our final question for today, and I'm pretty sure that's what the listeners are wondering right now, does my medical aid pay for this? So traditionally, uh, you know, we know that laser vision correction falls under what they deem a cosmetic procedure, although quite honestly, it's functional. I mean, if you take your specs or your contact lenses off and you're a minus four, you're not able to drive. So you're legally blind without correction. So the laser should be functional surgery. But for this uh, same duration, um, therapeutic treatments, meaning improving functional status and thereby optical status of the cornea, has traditionally fallen under that same umbrella. But uh, recent movements within our uh, refractive group and management group have helped uh, get the medical aids to fund or partially fund therapeutic procedures. So fixing corneas that are abnormal removing scars, improving visual quality by doing this. So, um, yes, a lot of the funders are now looking towards, uh, contributing towards the, the PTK procedure. Okay, and Dr. Joseph, if we want to come and see you about this or talk to you about it, how do we get yeah. in touch with you? So, Jan, we're based in Neisner at the Advanced Health Clinic, and uh, you're welcome to call Mariska on 044-150-0085. We've got a website as well with a lot of information on it around laser and um, corrective procedures. It's uh, www.drdillonjoseph.com. Uh, we've got a great uh, YouTube channel as well where we discuss a lot of this uh, content and all our podcasts are posted there as well. And we've got our uh, Facebook and Instagram account. So uh, please like it and follow us. And there's a lot of good content that you uh, can learn from there. Awesome. Uh, Dr. Joseph, as always, a big thank you to you for your time and uh, for sharing your knowledge with us. And then we'll chat to you again on uh, Medical Monday next week. Big pleasure. Thanks, Jan. Have a great week.